finally. What's up guys, Andrew here on My Channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. On my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today, holy crap, we are finally able to do my very first sponsored review. Um, this is an NVMe PCI 4.0 hard drive from Sabrent, and then this is their M.2 enclosure that they sent to me to do a review. I'm very, very grateful to them. As you guys know who have been watching me on Twitter and Instagram, uh, my, uh, my X570 motherboard broke, and so I wasn't able to get this review out sooner, so thanks to everyone's patience, but I'm be giving these products away it's going to be linked down in the description below i'm actually going to talk about the giveaway at the end of this review so if you just want to skip to that i totally understand but i want to show you kind of what you'll be getting if you win this and honestly uh, you know a product that i've had to play with now for like the last couple of days so when sabrent originally reached out to me there was kind of three things so the first thing was i was so excited i've never had a company actually reach out to me to do a sponsor review so i was super jacked on that and then i had two other questions so first off if the product was terrible could I be honest about that? Because obviously the integrity of my channel isn't for sale. I wanted to be as unbiased on this as I possibly could be. And then secondly, if it's a good product, could I give it away? Because on my channel, I like giving back hardware to the people who support me. Um, it's something that I've done basically for the whole duration of the, being a YouTuber for the last like 20-ish months. And it's one of those things that's important to me because I think getting hardware into the hands of people who support the channel is like the most direct way I can give back. So after asking Sabrent both those questions, they said, yeah, if it's horrible, you can tear it apart on your YouTube channel and then also you can give it away. So kudos. So in terms of the product, again, we're reviewing, this is the one terabyte NVMe from Sabrent. So this is for their PCI 4.0, meaning you have to have an X570 chipset to take full advantage of this. But this is their M.2 enclosure, which essentially allows you to turn this into an external hard drive. Uh, the cost of obviously read and write speeds, but at least that way you get to use it. So the first thing I wanna show with this is how to actually install it because there's actually been confusion on this in the past. So if you have an X570 motherboard, where you're gonna put this thing is in typically in the top slot. Not all of their M.2s on all their X570 chipsets are gonna have a PCI 4.0 enabled uh, M.2. So you wanna make sure you're putting it in the right one. On my X570, basically I had to unscrew three different screws for the heat sink. Now, quick sidebar, um, so Brent basically said that because obviously not just them, but all these new PCI 4.0 uh, you know, hard drives are gonna run pretty hot. If your motherboard doesn't come pre-equipped with some type of heat spreader for it, they recommend picking up one of the ones they have designed specifically for this, which uh, you'll see it pictured here. And so just know that these do run hot and if you don't have some type of heating solution, that's a problem, you're gonna want one. So in terms of again, installing this, for me, there was three different screws that I had to take out to get my heat spreader and then I was able to pull this off. Um, now I can say one thing, the uh, packaging on this thing was beautiful. Like a copper case, um, fully, uh, the, the foam was well packed, so obviously this thing wasn't moving around, so good job to Sabrent in terms of packing overall. And then all you gotta do to install this is match up the groove, similar like you would do with RAM, pop it to the M.2 slot. This actually came pre-equipped uh, pre with the standoffs, so you don't actually have to screw those in yourself, um, at least on my motherboard, I didn't have to. Now, once that was installed, um, the nice thing about my heat spreader is it actually has thermal pads on the back of it, so I don't have to come up with any kind of third-party solution there. And then all you have to do is essentially screw it down with the heat uh, spreader, actually. There's not like a separate screw. You use the original one, at least on my motherboard, and that way you have it secure and ready to use. Now, there were three main tests I did. I typically don't do hard drive um, reviews and so I wanted to make sure I was as thorough as I can so if I miss anything forgive me obviously this isn't something hard drive reviews aren't something I do a lot of so if there's something else you wanted to see let me know but the first one I did is crystal mark so this allows us to see the read and write sp uh, speeds of this um, hard drive and yes hundred percent it's able to hit the marks that it's advertised so that's very good because obviously um, it, nothing's worse than buying a product and not having it hit it's basically rated speeds I know what I'm talking about if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know, basically with my RAM. Anyway, and then as far as the other tests I did, I did HTO. They give you an idea at different kilobyte sizes, essentially what the reads and writes look there as well, which everything looked good. And then the last one was the uh, ASSSD test, which again, it's just using different uh, compression of file sizes up to 4K to give you an idea of what the read and write speeds are there. And of course, again, we're hitting everywhere we should need to. This thing is super, super fast. Now, what I wanna show you next is what it looks like with the external enclosure, because obviously you are gonna be losing some performance because you're losing PCI 4.0. 
In terms of installation, it's dead simple. All you're going to do is take the hard drive, you're going to simply slot it into the M.2 slot. Um, it comes equipped with all the screws you need um, included in the box. It actually has the tool because it's that um, kind of like hexagon pattern that you need to do. And so basically, once you have it installed there, the back has an actual thermal pad for the heat spreader for this as well to keep it nice and cool. There are four different contact points you need to screw down. And then once you do, you have this USB type C cable. Now, my motherboard actually has a USB type C on the back. But if you don't have that, it also has a USB um, Type 3 Gen 2 um, there as well. So you can use either and or if your motherboard doesn't support USB Type C. So as far as once this was installed, I went back and I ran all the same tests. Now, basically across the board, performance was half by nearly 75%. Now, what I want to point out is this is still faster than uh, most SSDs, like my, H, uh, my 860 EVO, this is still faster than that. It would be faster than a last gen NVMe, but it's definitely still fast enough um, you know, to use as an external hard drive, much faster, like I said, than a lot of what's available out there. And so this allows you to utilize uh, essentially this uh, one terabyte hard drive if you don't have uh, PCI 4.0, it gives you at least that off. Now, here's the thing. This hard drive really is kind of like a godsend if you're like a content creator because your transfer speeds are super fast. Like RAID setup, if you're using this as like a quick storage or if you're using it as a transfer file, it's definitely going to do the job and it's going to be super fast. But obviously enthusiasts, we like gamers and stuff like that, you, sometimes they buy this stuff because they just want the fastest thing available. So I did a couple of extra tests, which I think are important when we're talking about the speeds of a hard drive. Now in terms of actually like a game boot test, I'd use The Witcher 3. And so here's a side by side comparison from kind of like clicking it in Steam to seeing when the application actually opens up. And of course, again, NVMe PCI 4.0 typically is going to be faster than the other two solutions. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a super fast hard drive. Thank you to Sabrent for sending it to me. I was very tempted to keep it, but let's talk about the actual giveaway for this product now that we've had a chance to look at what it's capable of. So giveaway rules, pretty straightforward. If you live in North America or like US Canada, basically, I will cover shipping if you win. Um, but if you live out of the United States, if you want to enter this, totally open as long as your country obviously allows that, but you're going to have to pay for shipping because it's gotten more and more expensive and I am a self-funded channel. So you're going to have to pay your way if obviously you win this outside of the United States, but feel free to enter it. And if you win, then we'll work something out where you can pay for shipping and I'll literally I'll send it to you. I've done that with several of my giveaways in the past. So you can enter this giveaway. It'll be down in the description below. There's a lot of different ways to enter, obviously. And so uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate all of you, but good luck to whoever wins this thing. And yeah, I'm going to run it for the next few weeks and then you will be notified by email if you win. So make sure you check that. And then I announce the winner on Instagram and uh, Twitter. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go and leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop. As always, thanks to my Patreon and Twitch subscribers who this channel is not possible without. If you're a Patreon or Twitch, you get your name put at the end of my videos. Also, um, you get access to things like these monthly wallpapers as a whole reward system we have set up. You can join our Discord of gamers and PC enthusiasts, and that's down in the description as well. I love to talk shop, so if you guys want to join us, there's a bunch of people we have on there that game and talk computers and all of it, and I encourage you to join the community as well. Thanks everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link. Whenever you're buying anything through Amazon, this product will be linked down there, and if you want to support me by buying it or anything else listed on my channel, all that money goes back into um, production and buying products and giveaways. And so I really appreciate you guys there as well. As always, guys, I'm going to continue to make these videos, whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc. First sponsor review done, baby. This thing is fast. Thank you again to Sabrent for doing this for me. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry that it took me so long, God, stupid motherboard. I was dang tempted to keep it, but I'm going to give it away to you guys. So good luck to everybody.